Okay, this time we're ready. Now let's get to the observatory. We will probably have to kill a couple of vampires on the way, but I do not think that shall be an issue now, shall it? Yep, well, hopefully, for me. hopefully they'll kick Here you in the face. That high. Vampires, I promise a quick death if you kick Cobra in the face. Screw you! But they're busy fighting me because I have decreed that they should. They kick you in here! Damn it, you in here, let them kick Cobra. Cobra does not always deserve to be kicked in the face. Yes, he does. It's funny. <coughs> oh, conscience. Nice. That's lovely. There we go. Right. Let's march upwards and finally find out who the heck is behind this number, Aluga. Aluga. Yeah. Who hides behind numbers? Oh yeah, those things. Bigger and losing an arm to cast their spells, I believe it was. That was our theory, at least. <laughs> to be honest, after all the stuff in Tokyo, I think that every freaking zone we visit up to Tokyo is nostalgic. It's been a while, yeah. Sake. I'm willing to admit I stopped shooting him to let him pull that move off. You are what? such a douche, Nozzle. <laughs> he is. I think it's the essence of his entire being. What's your up, Cobra? At the rate that we're leveling, very soon, if we had to, we could even take on Callisto. He would, like, that's an accomplishment. He doesn't do anything. You can also to let death with his emo monologues. Oh yeah, you're right. We, God, he'd say like five words and we'd instantly die. My That's life. That's why we have to train. My yeah. life has been an ever, never ending carousel of torment ever since that fateful dark day where I made the grave mistake that would doom me to a fate that is dark and grim and apathetic. <laughs> and that is why, in my sorrowful moments that I now share with you, this grim fate that I have been endeavored in like a black rose that is. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It would be like that. And then. He won't have any other attacks. You just slowly start taking more and more damage as he keeps talking. It'd be even worse than the, you know, prunes. <laughs> no, the, the de no, dates. It was a date, not a prune. Yeah. Close, ah, yeah. Free straight, apparently. <laughs> Die. There we go. No reason to fall at my feet, you stupid thing. And we're getting ever so close to this. He, oh, someone got stuck? Nope, no, hold on, that was just something I saw. So one wonders what we will find. Answers or more questions? Of course, more questions. And then we open the door and the truth revealed is, it's a Teletubby. What? Run! <laughs> How the fuck? Pinky Winky with his <laughs> awesome ballerina skirt. <laughs> oh wait, did he ever wear a ballerina skirt or did he just have a red bag? I can't remember. <laughs> Let's just destroy the blood stack. Might as well. Well, you know, it's a good thing those Death Squad members were completely deaf to all that. They've, they've been listening to those radios too. They do move sounds after all. Let's see. It's in here. Oh. Okay, then. Find the blockheads, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a door here to be opened after we deal with the last of the death squad. Yes, it's down here. Something here? No. No, uh, here. There's something down here, Cobra. Oh, that thing. Down here! What did you think that man? 
the squad is eliminated. You know, I'm not even going to justify that with an answer. Well, there's a door. Use the lonely patriot. It doesn't look like a door. And so, the, the question is, will we go in as a team? It seemed like it, but you know, we well, it didn't right say so, it didn't say so, instance. But then again, mm. well, no, awesome. but um, now they did that little trip into the fog. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of when I said. I that. can see your sparkles. And the rest okay, well, I can also see you. It's going to mm. be a team effort. Mm, it's darkish, you know. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be ah, okay. Well, I can I actually see right sparkles. Right now. No, just need the rest. Let's see. Maybe I should equip that thing. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit of more. Okay, I can deal with that. It's kind of sad this thing has better flashlight mechanics than some some FPS games. Yeah. <laughs> also, Sheridan, I just noticed that when we were entering this place, There's all of a sudden you're. Yes, Anna. All of a sudden, your wolf just died. Well, yeah, fair enough. Okay, he's here. Moving in. Whoa! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, have yeah. company! Huh. Nah, that was just creepiness. To be creepy. What are we dealing with down there then? Oh, wait. The ba 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 boogie man! Doopy doopy doo! I don't know if it's the same or another one. I think it's, it might be the ladder. Whoa. Oi, ay, ay, ay. What are we dealing with here? The whale between worlds are thin here. Oh, watch your back. Oh, 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 oh! That was fun. Oh, what the fuck? Everyone oh. okay? That was fun. Yes, we're fine. Know. You know what? Well, try turning on you off your lights. I think there's enough light in here anyway. Alright. Turning it off. Yeah, my light just sent, just absorbed back into my head. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was big! That was funny. Let's proceed. Uh. Ah, oh, fuck. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus! Eh? It was fine. Why are you turning off your lights, he says? I just walked into the red eyes. That's because you're freaking psycho, and that's the second time I said that. Huh, little girl. Yeah, that's not creepy at all, or anything. No, oh, there's nothing here. Also, that looks poisonous as all hell. Oh, fuck! Oh, God. Where? Over here. Look out! Around the corner. Uh, right. <laughs> this, is a, this place is fun. Yeah. It's Samhain 2014. Down. Receive. Blah, 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 blah. Listen for the voice. Jingle song and patter said. Radio is more fun when you're dead. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, but that's not the light for Splash. Beepity beepity boop. More noise. More supernatural activities. Uh, we are on a major spiritual highway. Yep. Yeah. That's a good point. Oh, an enemy. Yes. An actual enemy. The presenter. So he's the guy behind this. Beat the presenter. Where the fuck did he Hello? Ah! Static Spectre. So, I'm starting to, So, guessing from Jonathan Winter and now the presenter, I guess the boogeymen are humans who did not have magical powers, who mess with the other, uh, other two with magical things, and then got, if you will, infected with it. Hmm. Yeah. That's theory. Just basing him. Oh, there he is. Oh, you bastard. Oh! 
Now if I only have the gun to him. Well, no, he did that because I shot him. Oh, 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 oh. Die! Ow! Bastard! How do you feel? He's, a... He's not gonna make this thing e this easy on us. Nope, he is. Well, I have a feeling. Yeah, not poor as much. You guys deal with the ghost, I'll take the radio out. Alright, you do that. It's that that's summoning the spectres, it appears. Sort of makes sense. And there he is. I guess he's pissed that we ruined his show. Die! Again. Same thing as before, you guys deal with that, I'll take care of the radio. Alright. Oh crap, we're getting deathless! They're just throwing everything from the kitchen sink at us. And then a kitchen sink just materialized and freaking flew into someone's head. What do you mean You! Come here so you can die! Okay, time for lightning. If I could actually move. Die! What's this now? What's that expected? Die, 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 die! Well, I think I've broken all the radios, so he's out of uh, luck. They're shutting down the signal! And he's dead! Lut! You need to access the, the Pacellus computer, it's in here. Well, this is some old equipment. Please select your journal. Let's see. Entry something something. The date? The date, an irrelevant waste of concentration, falling prostrate to time. It is now, soon, time will have little meaning, there will only be forever. I do not normally do this, I normally keep my journal within my mind museum. I close my eyes, I see the book, I turn its pages, method of Loki. But I need to put down a record, someone must see, I'll write this in English, so that my words spread on their widest sec vector, listen to the house in Cypress Canyon. And then to war the worlds. I adore the old radio dramas. They recharge my mind, spark my imagination. Spark my imagination. Allow me to access the museum within my mind. Sleep becomes unnecessary. It is how I learned English. I practice my presenter voice. My impression of Orson Welles is getting quite good. I am corresponding with one David Scree, a conspiracy theorist. He is tenacious. He even touches the truth. I read his weird non-fiction magazine. The world must know of my work. We take what scribes we can get. Entry sometime later. A setback. Contemplated suicide. Even loaded the gun. I thought I should listen to one more drama. I listened to Death Robbery. It saved my life, as I was not yet satisfied. I then listened to Ghost Hunt and Three Skeleton Keys. By the time I was over, some of my gloom passed. I will reflect. When I began, I had government support in the Red Hand Project. That was when I created the Lonely Patriot, the Signal, trying to tune it, just so. The project collapsed. I nearly ended my life that night as well. Then I received corporate sponsorship, the resources. My ideas could finally see proper scope. I am close, and now I have returned to this dead Red Hand facility where it all began. I will finish. Entry, even later still. A breakthrough. It came to me while I listened to the thing on the formal of the formal board. I contacted my corporate sponsor at once. <sighs> Orochi's reach is vast. God damn it! We place radios throughout the world in places close to death. Orochi assured me that such place existed, conventionally, conveniently near locations where they already have camps and research teams deployed. It is nearly done. Mirroring. That is the key. Simultaneous broadcasting of varied signals. Uh, each discordant to one another, causing mirroring ripples into the ether. We will get their attention. Soon. Soon. Entry. Uh, last? We did, what did I do wrong? My calculations seem perfect. Is someone dang detail? My corporate sponsors are asking for results. I delete all of the emails. I cannot face them. 
Tonight, I think, I will end it. I will float away with the numbers and all of the terrible echoes that refuse to answer my call. I listen to the shadow people, northern lights, and the hitchhiker. It is time now. Entry! I cannot read it. Numbers! Seven. There, are, there are words in it. Oh, there are? <clears throat> yes, go back to the numbers one. There are words in it. Wait, hello, I am awake. Huh. It is so beautiful. Scream stretched on crystal. This is forever. Came to me. The answer. As I died, they can hear me now. The dead. The living will too. I am the presenter. This is my show. Right. So, the message from David Screed. Hello? Yeah, Screed again. Oh, you're still here? So, I guess you survived Pokemon What's that? Last time. I tell you, I'll never be able to sit comfortably around a radio again. It's gonna be TV's neck, I swear. I already have reoccurring nightmares of Rod Serling shivving me in the shower while smiling and monologuing. <laughs> yeah, just smiling and monologuing. What? Smiling and I'm listening to the thing, the mail. Waves. They're kind of a purgatory. Think about it. What's a ghost? Huh? What's a ghost but an echo of a living person? Radio waves are all full of talking ghosts, flying off into the void, mumbling and repeating their follies in a loop forever. Chitler's still making his speeches in the void. The shadow investigates evil in other solar systems. NASA keeps planning out how to send explorers into deep space, right? Right? But we already have. We keep pumping out ghost astronauts into the cosmos. Hitler huh. and the shadow will find the next inhabitable planet long before any of the living do. <laughs> Our ambassadors, they'll just keep going. Inverse square law means they'll get quieter and quieter. But you gotta figure out there's something out there. You know, we're, we're, we're way out there with big goddamn ears. <laughs> Makes me think that... Ah, ah, did you hear that? Listen, ah. Yeah. Right. Huh. That is an interesting perspective that Hitler is a silent static ambassador to outer space. Anyway, no. time to read reports. Yeah, Vintage yeah. old timey radio show MP show MP3s are so in right now. Red Hand Project's going to a Rochi. What could possibly go wrong? The new merch team could be called the Red Shirt Project. I like that. I actually like that one. Nice to see Screed is still at it. No better way to obfuscate secrets than by inund inundating the world with conspiracies. Screed's latest obsession is the Berenstein slash Berenstain Bears controversy, spelling of a children's book title to prove parallel universes and the Mandela effect. Don't believe me. Google it. Funny. I remember it as the Berenstein Bears. Weird. Okay, Jane. You name? Yeah. The information in David Sweet's propagation forms on an R system. It is shotgun paranoia. Occasionally he is right, but not often for the reasons you think. And he is right more often than he should be by pure chance. But there is some bravery there. How frustrating it must be to enter an endless cave with only a flickering, unreliable flashlight. His magazine makes for entertaining reading. I think I have had enough time cube theory. So much obnoxious noise to read through to get to that one sentence of ultimate truth. Can you guess which one? Also, in my reward bag, I got a new thing for my hands. So did I. Let's see it in a moment after I read for the Templars. I rather enjoy the golden age of radio drama. The mind has a limit uh, has a limited limitless, limitless special yeah, limitless special effect budget. Much more elegant than badly performed CTI clumsily fondling the eyes. The implications of what these broadcast signals can accomplish is chilling. Not just for the nefarious things a government or corporation might do purposefully, but what might be accomplished accidentally. 
This world is saturated in waves, rays, broadcasts and signals. If even half a, per a percent of them were to rip open the fabric of reality, well, and who is David Scro this David's Dave Sweet person? I have read several issues of his weird non-fiction magazine, and while he functions much like an Illuminati shill, semantic paranoia makes feels very genuine indeed. Anyway, there are more radios to look through if we want to, but that might be next year. We'll find some time for it, I guess. But for now, I just want to admire my Raven Skull Ring, which is so friggin' tiny that I can barely even see it. I got an earring, and I got something for my hands as well. Hang on a minute, I have to see this. You also got a ring, Cobra? Yes. A oh. Raven Skull Ring. Also, I got some of this. I just need to see if I can set it up and see what it actually is. Ah, stylish. Yeah. Even if I'm, it's completely yeah. out of the way. I'll just exit the game now, and I'll see you outside. Yeah. So, uh, where's the exit from in here? Do we have to walk out? I do not know. Is there an exit door anywhere? Do we just have to walk? I have a PS we have to walk. Oh well. That means we're done for today, so that means next time we will be tackling the Halloween content for this year. So this has been Aaron Cobra. Run an orange, yeah. Wall of one? You near? Yeah, it's the last number thirteen. And this has been Let's Play the Seaboard Blind. See you all around. See you around, folks. See ya! Bye bye people. Bye.